Armaf Aura. Hey, what's up guys, this is Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on this Armav's Aura. One of my more successful videos on my channel was my top 10 favorite Armav fragrances. I'm always trying to make that list a little better for next year, 2021. I don't know really what's going on with Armav lately because Armav used to be a fragrance house that all their fragrances cost 20, 30, $35 at least near me. And then they come out with Club de Nuit Intense Man. It gets hyped just through the roof. And then they come out with all these new Club de Nuit's like Club de Nuit's Sillage, Club de Nui Milestone, Club de Nui Intense Man EDP, and then you go online and the bottles are like $70, $80. I just think the quality of our mob isn't going to go up. It's going to stay the same. They're really only going up in price because people are hyping them and it's like, wow. It's really unfortunate that our mob is kind of turning from cheap fragrances almost into Chanel prices. I mean, there's a lot of designers even around $50 that are nice and you're jumping all the way from like $20 to $30 up to like $80. But anyways, a little bit of our mob rant. This one was a pretty affordable fragrance. I think I got this for about $20 or $21 on eBay. This fragrance has lots and lots of similarities to Invictus. It's a fragrance that I did not want another copy of. This isn't 100% like Invictus, but it really just has that Invictus style vibe 100%. I've already had two different copies from our mob that copies Invictus, and I do like Invictus. However, I would much rather them copy niche fragrances than designer fragrances because I can go pick up Invictus for about $50. This one has a lot of similarities to Invictus, and I was really a little turned off by that. I know another fragrance reviewer said he stopped buying our mobs because they had too many Invictus clones and I totally see where they're coming from here. Because it has that Invictus vibe, it does have a few nice things about it. And I didn't look up the notes online, but to me, I just get a very Invictus style smell, but there's a little bit more spiciness to it. I guess the uh, typical Invictus style smell would be like this sweet Mandarin orange and blue aqua style scent. Just a very classic, likable, sweeter style of fragrance. This one has a little bit more spice and maybe 5%, maybe 10% of this, what reminds me of a peach style musk. That does make it smell a little bit different, but overall it's generally that Invictus style vibe to me personally. The pros is that it has a very likable smell. I would say the likability is probably the highest on here because it smells similar to Invictus and it's just a very likable fragrance overall. I gotta give it props for that. They did a few tweaks to the Invictus DNA. Like I said, it smells a tad bit more spicy and I also smell a little bit of that peach musk in there, which is a little bit different, but it overall doesn't really take that much away from the original Invictus smell. I would say it's probably 85 to 95%. Very, very similar to Invictus. The last pro of this fragrance, as I would say, it's very affordable, very cheap, $20, smells very good. I always really like how our mob, they try, and sometimes they fail, I'll give it that, but I like how they always kind of try to come out with a new style bottle, something you haven't seen before. This bottle looks pretty good. I know it's all about the juice, but it's a pretty decent style bottle, especially for $20. A lot of fragrance houses, when they're just coming in, they have like all the same exact kind of bottle and they just print something else on the bottle. So like all the bottles are the same. Every bottle on this is different. So I got to appreciate that. The cons is not too many. You could kind of already guess what they would be is that it smells like Invictus and Invictus costs about 50 or $55. So I don't really want to pay for a copy of Invictus unless it smells like really good or better than Invictus. To me, this is around the same style smell and around the same longevity and projection, if not a tad bit weaker than Invictus. So it copies a cheaper fragrance. It copies a fragrance that they've copied way too many times as it is. And then also the longevity and projection, I would say this is right down the middle average. Um, I would say maybe Invictus might project a little bit more than this but again these sweet aquatics there it's very hard to get that sweet juicy aquatic smell to last even more than like two or three hours almost every fragrance that i've smelled that has it almost can't last very long because of that sweet likable blue smell i mean even invictus aqua invictus aqua was notorious for being very very strong especially when it first came out but it had a little bit of roughness to give it that extra strength and when you smooth it out and get it like this it just doesn't last forever it's not really this fragrance's fault but it was an average projection overall for the smell i'll give this between a 7.5 and to an 8 7.5 overall because it smells like invictus but then maybe up to an 8 because they did do a couple of other zesty things in there but unfortunately not enough to break it out of anything special and i would say 7.5 to an 8 feels good for me for the smell likeability 8 to an 8.5 very good definitely its strongest point i think a lot of people will like this a lot of people already like invictus it just works it is likable 8 
to an 8.5 for likability and then for longevity and projection 6.5 to a 7 feels good for me this is very very right down the middle average as far as longevity and projection it did smell good i just was really turned off when i first smelled it I, it smelled exactly like an invictus i think i even put this fragrance aside for a few days because i'm like oh, another invictus clone i already kind of have an idea of what it's going to do it's not a bad fragrance i just wish that they wouldn't copy invictus so much i already have an el silo which is kind of similar to invictus armov's rixos man which is already similar to invictus closer to invictus aqua but I don't really want to spend more than $50 on an Armand fragrance. I ended up spending $50 on Club de Nuit Milestone and I really, really enjoyed Club de Nuit Intense Man and I really, really enjoy Millicene Imperial, which is supposed to copy. So I definitely think it will make my top 10 Armands list. We'll just have to see exactly how good it is. And I also have some Millicene Imperial clones, so I'll test it against those. But anyways, guys, Armand's aura right down the middle. Not really bad, just disappointed that it smells like Invictus. But anyways, guys, let me know what fragrance I should try next. I don't even want to spend $50 for an Armand. To me, the max I would ever want to pay is $35. That's just me. But let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what video I should shoot next. And let me know what fragrance I should review next. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. We're almost there. And I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, I'm having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.